Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a basic gel manicure. I decided to do some Halloween art at the end since I'm watching a spooky Friday the 13th movie, the final chapter. You're going to need everything you see in this picture here, your UV light, your base coat, your top coat, your polish. Um, so yeah, just hang out and let's have some fun. So things I like to do beforehand are just kind of shape the nail. Um, I'll kind of get right by the nail bed and kind of file down. I like to do a squared, rounded, or just square. Okay, so um, I'm going to watch my movie. You guys can kind of watch me do my nails here. So I like to just buff it, and it stays on for a long time too, and I just kind of pull it down, making sure that I grab both sides. You just want that polish to be able um, to stick and last. Usually my gel manis last me quite a while. I like to use this Beatles. I got it off of Amazon. I wasn't really sure about it, but it works so good. Oh my gosh, why is this so blurry? Where's my camera? Where's my camera? I mean, what are your guys' favorite horror movies? I'm talking classic 1980s, 90s, the good um, good Halloween movies. Now it's really hard to find anything that's really good. If you guys know of any good horror movies that have recently come out, please let me know. I would love to check it out. I'm always trying to find something scarier than the last thing I saw. I mean, they just don't make these cheesy 80 movies anymore. Alright, so now that I already prep my nails, I am going to add my base coat. So I like to stay away from my cuticle and my nail bed. So I apply it actually just directly onto the nail and pull it down, get it on there evenly. Um, like I said, I don't like to go all the way up to the cuticle, you want to leave some space. I mean, I'm wondering if I could have this plane in the back of my video. I hope so. If not, what happens then? Can anyone tell me? Because <laughs> I don't know. So I like to do both nails first. Or I'm sorry, both hands first. So Sam just got killed. He's not coming for you, Jason is. <laughs> I barely, like there's no nasty smell. That's like one thing I dread about going to get my nails done is a smell. And I was like, oh. But um, this stuff really doesn't have any. So, okay, base, 60 seconds in. Highlighter yellow. And a neon orange. Turn this light down a little bit. Okay. So I turn my light down to see if this kind of like helps with anything. I'm gonna start off with my favorite, some yellow, or this yellow color. And then we'll do, ah! Okay, so you wanna dry after every coat. So we're gonna dry this really quick. He's a goner. Usually I'll put the paint on one hand and then put my hands in here, but I'm a little distracted by the movie, so yeah, that's not usually what I do. So this is my first time using this orange and I love it so much. I'll probably do my next mani with this orange again and do some pumpkin faces. Should have um should have gave it a little shake shake. So here I wanted to take a minute, let you know, you can go to Amazon, type in B-E-E-T-L-E-S, nails, and a bunch of little bundles will come up. 
you'll also find UV lights that you can purchase online. If not, you can go to your local Sally Beauty Supply. It is open to the public. They do not carry this brand, but they carry a ton of other um, gel polish brands and UV lights as well and everything else that you'll need. Okay, so I went ahead and did the second coat on the ring finger and then 60 seconds. Here we go. So I'm going to use this really fine brush. So I know I say 60 seconds a lot in this video, but I can't stress to you enough the importance of that 60 seconds. You wanna make sure that each coat is dry before applying another layer or doing anything else. And on the UV lights, there are different settings, so just make sure that you do set that timer for 60 seconds. The next movie, which is Pet Cemetery, I grabbed my top coat, um, my regular gloss, because I did have a matte finish. And I decided a top coat that was glossy would look a lot better. And just go ahead and put the top coat on all of your nails. Make sure you get it on there evenly. Um, this top coat is super important. It is going to help your manicure set and last so i'm going to show you how i got the effect of the little bit of black um, mixed in to kind of turn it into like a lime green looking color so i grabbed a little bit of the acrylic paint and i just pulled all the way down just kind of in the middle of where I'm wanting that color to kind of come through. I don't want it completely even, so I just kind of... Okay, that scared me. This is the new Pet cemetery, so I've never seen this one before. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I think so far. And then what I have here is just a little bit of water. Um, one thing you'll also need as well that I forgot <laughs> was um, rubbing alcohol. I like to put it on the nail after just to kind of clean it off. So you just grab a little bit of water and then it kind of comes off there. So you don't want it all off. Just kind of make it look ugly. Like it's a rotting nail. And that's another baby one over here. That should be good. There. And then I got a little bit there on my skin, so I'm going to come in with this and just wipe it off. The thing about acrylic paint is that it comes off really, really easily. Um, so that's good. And then I'm just going to cover. I'm going to use this one. Do a little cross because there's some room here on this side. Ooh, let's see. You know what? Maybe we'll just do the cross up in here. Whoa. Yeah. Just cross all the way up through here. Got a little shaky there. I'm just coming at the top. And then right here, maybe just do like a baby one. Okay. So I have that. Done. Now, I'm going to use a little baby one. A mixture color, white and black, to make your gray. And then you're just going to kind of just tap, you know. Because you can't really see the little baby ones. So I just want to be creative. There is no right or wrong for this. And I'll just add the line in there. Okay, and we're done. We got our top coat. And here we go. Straight 
Okay, now this will be our last 60 seconds. Um, combo with rubbing alcohol and just kind of do one quick rub off that. When it's all done, I want to show you my new favorite velvet nail oil. Look at that glitter. How cute is that? So now that that's done, I just kind of gonna go across the top. Now this is a body oil as well as a cuticle oil. I just kind of put some along your nail, your nail beds there. It just looks so pretty, and it smells so good. This one's peach, um, and then you just will rub. I like to rub it all over. Not to be so there's my little graveyard setting. And my little bats. Thanks guys so much for watching <laughs> and taking your time to watch this video. Everybody, please continue to be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself. Don't forget to follow my page. Subscribe. Hit that like button guys uh wear your mask bye